Most people waste hundreds of hours a year clicking the mouse manually, but today you'll learn how Keyboard Maestro can click for you. This type of automation can save you hours every week, and I know this because I've done it for all these people myself. In this video, I'll first explain what Keyboard Maestro even is, I'll show you how to make it click for you, then I'll give you some ideas for how to easily automate repetitive tasks with this technique. So what is Keyboard Maestro? So Keyboard Maestro is an automation app for Mac that lets you control your computer with simple actions. So it lets you create what are called macros and macros allow you to add actions to them. So there are hundreds of actions in Keyboard Maestro, but the one that we're gonna look at today is the click at found image action. So you can double click on an action within this action window to add it to a macro. And you can also add a trigger which will run the action. So I'm just gonna add a hotkey trigger for now, so like a keyboard shortcut. And now let's learn how to use this action to control the mouse. And by the way, if you want me to personally help you save hundreds of hours a year and build custom automations for you, then you can book a free coaching call with me using the top link in the description below. But I think the best way that we can learn how to use this action is with an example. So there's a website here which has these different sections, which if you click on, um, they'll expand and they have text boxes that you can enter data into on the inside. So let's think about making a macro to click on these triangle icons to expand this whole form for us. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take a screenshot of the image we want to click on. So if you press Command, Control, Shift, Four, that will allow you to take a screenshot that gets saved to the clipboard. So Command, Control, Shift, Four. I just took a screenshot of this little arrow button. And now let's go back to Keyboard Maestro. And again, what I did here was I added the click at found image action. So you can find it and it looks like this. Now what I'm gonna do is press the little square icon here and press Command V to paste. And you can see our image of the little triangle got pasted into this square. So this square is called the image well, and this is what allows us to paste in our images. If you press the spacebar button while the image well is selected, you can see a preview of the image, and you'll also see a red crosshair, which shows where the action will click on the image. So let's go ahead and test out this macro, and I'm gonna test it by pressing the shortcut, which I set of Command Option Control S. So let me go back to the webpage and I'll press that. And I'm pressing the shortcut right now, but nothing is happening. So there's actually one more change we'll need to make to this action for it to click properly. You can see down here, there's a little drop down that says unique. And in this case, we're gonna to wanna to change that to best. If we kept it on unique, it wouldn't click any of the images because, well, that little triangle that we took a picture of is not unique. There are multiple copies of it. So let's change it to best, and now let's try the shortcut. So I'll press it, and you can see it moved and clicked the mouse on that first arrow. I'm gonna press the shortcut again, and it clicked another arrow, and I'll do it one more time, and you can see it expanded all three dropdowns. So that's awesome, we have a working macro which clicks on the little triangle to expand each of those sections, but let's make things a little bit better. I'm going to add a new action, which is the pause action, and let's add a pause for maybe 0.3 seconds, and then let's duplicate the click at found image action from above. So we click, then we pause for a little bit, then we click on the image again. And let's duplicate the pause as well and add one more click at found image. So we're basically saying click the first triangle, pause for a little bit, click the next one, pause, and then click the third one. So let's close these up and run the macro. So I'm gonna press it right now. You can see just by doing that, it expanded all three sections at once in a single keyboard shortcut. So by now, hopefully you're starting to see how powerful this action can be. It can control the mouse and click wherever you want it to. And we can even set multiple images. So maybe instead of just clicking on the triangle, we would want it to click on the triangle 
and then the section that says enter text. So I'm gonna take a little screenshot of that and I'm going to come back to the macro and I'm going to delete some of these actions from before and paste it in one uh, below. So now we click the triangle to open a section, we pause for a little bit, and then we click enter text. So let's try that out and run the macro. And you can see it clicked the triangle, then it clicked the text box. And now I can start typing. This is some text. And it allowed me to do that very easily because it is controlling the mouse. So depending on the nature of your work, this single action could save you multiple hours a week, especially if you have a lot of tedious and repetitive tasks that require you to click the mouse in certain sequences. But now let's talk about some more ideas for clicking the mouse. And by the way, you can download this macro in the description below. If you wanna play around with it yourself, you can just put your email in and you'll get it for free. But now in terms of thinking of new macro ideas, maybe you would wanna make a macro to copy whatever image is under the cursor. So if there was, let's say, let's search for Keyboard Maestro and we wanted to copy one of these images from under the cursor, we could make a macro to do that. Or maybe we wanted to copy the text under the cursor or use it to open different tabs or windows, or maybe there are apps that we need to click multiple times through to export something or maybe we need to drag and drop files. These are all things that you can do using the click at found image action within Keyboard Maestro. But now that you know the basics of how to control the mouse with Keyboard Maestro, you might like this video next, which shows you how to do all the things I just mentioned, as well as a bunch of other ways to control the mouse and save even more time. Thanks for watching.